This place is nuts. Welcome to Kathmandu in Nepal. I am here to do the Annapurna Base Camp Trek and this is my day one video. Which, today was essentially the day that we had to go out, buy gear, get everything situated and ready to go for the trek because we are leaving tomorrow. I figured in this video what I really want to show you is kind of like what I'm bringing on the trek and then at the end it'll it'll be interesting to see how everything went. This is my first time going on any sort of long, more than honestly two day hiking trip, uh, hiking, camping, backpacking trip. We will be sleeping in tea houses and lodges and stuff so we will not be sleeping in a tent, but it will still be like sleeping bag, sleeping mat on whatever, whatever surface is provided within four walls. So yeah, just figured to start the video out here. You can see kind of, what this place looks like because it is crazy. I mean, frankly, I've never seen anything like this place before. Ah, uh, uh, I love the birds. <laughs> the birds are so good. But yeah, I mean, check it out. It's nuts. And honestly, <laughs> this whole place, I would say, is controlled chaos at its best. I mean, you're going through some of these intersections and there's just traffic going every direction which way. I mean, there's no real rules it seems. So you just kind of you just kind of walk. <laughs> but yeah. Um let's go into my room and take a look at the gear. <laughs> There you have it, there is all the gear laid out. You can't quite see it from this angle, unfortunately, but I'm gonna pick up the camera here shortly and we're gonna kinda go through all of it and see what all I am bringing. It's quite a lot. I wasn't expecting to bring this much, to be honest with you, but you know, here we are. This is what the guide told me to do, so it's what I'm doing. But yeah, so basically how today went. So this morning I got picked up by my guide a kneel at like 11 o'clock and we went out to go shopping for the last few things that I needed like gaiters and a backpack cover and most importantly boots now I know that <laughs> I know that you're probably like Victor you can't buy boots right before a nine-day trek and then just like expect to be okay listen I know I know and I realize that I'm probably going to get blisters, which is obviously not ideal, but the situation is that my old boots that I had, I was hiking in Oregon and realized that they were leaking. And so obviously I can't use those because we're gonna be tramping through snow and stuff. So I had to get them. I've taken the measures, you know, that I can to avoid blisters. I've been wearing them all day. I'm gonna wear them tomorrow, which is like the day we're just in a vehicle and hopefully it'll be all right. But otherwise, shopping was pretty interesting. If you walk down the streets of Kathmandu here, particularly in Tamil, which is like the primary tourist area, I guess, you will see outdoor shop after outdoor shop after outdoor shop. And the prices are crazy low. And that is because they're not exactly real, the, some of the stuff. For example, these North Face hiking pants that I got, they were $20. That is not how much uh, North Face hiking pants would otherwise cost. So it says Gore-Tex, as far as I can read online, it's not exactly going <laughs> to be waterproof, probably. So basically the advice that I got online and the advice that I followed was that anything crucial, for example, boots, you go to one of the few actual retail stores. So North Face and Mountain Hardware and Outdoor Research, those stores actually have actual stores here so the prices are a lot more but that's because it's real actual high quality gear as opposed to some of this other stuff but some of the other more like non-essential stuff like hiking pants because i have i have a myriad of pants to wear um it's not as big of a deal you know you can get a good deal on something that's gonna gonna last through the trek and hopefully a little bit longer but yeah let's go through the gear here um okay so First up, there is my backpack. It is a Kelty 65 liter pack. I have traveled the world with this thing and I, it, I'm, I'm amazed at how well it's holding up. It's still kicking. I mean, there's a, there's a buckle missing and some of the mesh on the side is ripped, but you know what? It's still going. But then after that, here is the more heavy duty clothing. So those are snow pants for when we get up high and into the snow and a winter coat and then a down mid layer. We'll see if I have to use all of them. I'm, I'm not convinced. 
But then next up we have boots, neck gaiter, thin gloves, thick gloves, and then these little guys. I always see them in mountaineering videos. It's the it's the down like little booties for camp. I saw them. I had to get them. <laughs> Maybe unnecessary, but who knows? Maybe I'll love them. After, you know, eight hours of hiking in brand new blister inducing boots, maybe I'll uh, really, really love them. So yeah, next up we have trekking poles. Really important for me because my knee is giving me problems, but that'll be, that'll be okay. Sleeping bag, of course, an 850 fill by Patagonia, as well as a Thermarest sleeping pad. Underneath there we have all my rain gear. So that is rain pants and a raincoat. Next to it, we've got my gaiters, so that's, you know, for the snow and everything. A dry bag for if it does start raining, and this non-brand name backpack cover that I bought because I left mine at home. If that fails, then I can still put important things in this dry bag. That's medicine and band-aids, basically my little first aid kit. It's got ibuprofen and Imodium and all those kinds of things. And then moving on, we've got my knee wrap as well as some duct tape. That's for the blisters. And then, of course, let's see here. These are sunglasses, prescription, which are great. These are my hiking glasses. I don't wear these hiking because they are one, too nice, and two, you know, they, they slip a lot. So I wear those. This is a microfiber towel, hand warmers, foot warmers, carabiner for whatever I might need it for, and uh, sunscreen. And then there's a headlamp. Over back there is underwear and socks. I have more socks, but it's currently in laundry, so I'm gonna go pick that up shortly here. So I will have more than two pairs of socks, <laughs> which is good. Um, over here is kind of my shirts, and there I have two athletic shirts, one outdoor button-down shirt, and my Patagonia fleece. We'll see how much the bag weighs. I might throw that fleece out, which is a bummer, because I really like wearing it outside. It's, it's, it's very nice, it's good temperature for what I think we'll be in. Two pairs of hiking pants, like I said, one is real and one is maybe not as real. Baseball hat, thicker hat, and then I've got two buffs with me. And then moving up in the next line here, we have thermals, that is for legs and that is for upper body. This is a life straw. So I've never used one of these before, but I've seen people here in Asia using them. Theoretically, it's a filter system, so you don't have to boil water, you don't have to um, use tablets or anything else, it filters everything out and you can just drink the water. And I mean, I've seen people drinking tap water in like the Philippines and stuff with these. So yeah, I don't know. The store told me it works for anything I'll be encountering. So hopefully they're right. <laughs> Next up, we have a little toiletries bag. I am gonna buy a bar of soap when we get to our first stop tomorrow. And then all of the snacks that you could possibly imagine because my guide said that essentially Snacks and stuff cost a lot more when we get up to the mountains. So he said just buy it all now Personally, it seems like a lot of weight to be carrying when I could be buying other stuff But he knows best so I am following his directions and then of course Toilet paper because we might not have toilet paper everywhere And then this is all the camera gear and tech that's coming with me So this is my Sony a6500 that I'm filming on right now. I will not be carrying this with me because I can't carry every camera even though I want to. So I'm bringing the essentials. I've got my Canon 6D right there that is, you know, my big photography camera. I definitely want that because it takes incredible photos. Right there is actually the drone. That's just a case to carry that camera. So that, there's nothing else in there. There's the drone. And then down here is my point and shoot. So that is a Sony RX100 and that is what I'll be using to make my videos. It's good, it's small, so I can keep it in a little front waist pocket of my backpack so I can pull it out any little time I wanna make a little entry uh, rather than this camera that has the microphone and the Gorilla Pod, which I am bringing the Gorilla Pod because hopefully I can do some astrophotography up in the mountains. And then yeah, aside from that, bag full of memory cards, charging cables and such, and then one of the brick uh, charging power banks. But this right here is all my gear. It's a lot. So hopefully it's not gonna be too heavy. I am interested to see what it is all going to weigh when I pack it up. And yeah, let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and do that. Let's pack this thing up. All right, there she is, all packed up and ready to go. Yeah, sorry I had to cut the time lapse there a little bit. I, I actually ended up spending some more time thinking and getting in touch with my guide because I had a couple questions and 
you know, so I, I had to figure some things out. But eventually, after after a bunch of time, I've got everything sorted out. So yeah, that's what I'm carrying. That's what I'm wearing tomorrow. Here are my boots, and I'm ready to go. But yeah, cool. Let's uh, go back up to the roof because I want to talk about a couple more things before we end this video. So, like I said, also, I mean, come on. Come on, right? <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> but, so like I said at the start of this video, this is my first more than two day, one night backpacking trip. Also, like I said, we will not be sleeping in tents or anything, so that does take one factor out of it. But, uh, Annapurna Base Camp still isn't really something to mess around with as far as I can tell. They say that the trail isn't too crazy up and down, so it's relatively straightforward, but still, it's, it's quite a few days and, um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly what kind of gear that I need, you know, personally and stuff. So that's, that's why I'm frankly just listening to the guide with everything because he's done this quite a few times and if he says something is necessary, that's why I'm bringing all of that stuff. Maybe I won't even need it all, who knows. But yeah, I'd say overall I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, my biggest concern, honestly, I have two big concerns. The, the second biggest concern is <laughs> is the fact that I have brand new boots. Obviously, one should purchase their boots prior to going anywhere like this and doing anything crazy. So, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I'm wearing them right now and I'm wearing them as much as I can so that I can try to break them in at least a little bit and then I have, I have some stuff to fight the blisters as well. But then my biggest concern is my me. Last time I was in Antarctica, over a year ago now actually, during the summer at McMurdo, we were having the annual softball tournament and uh, I had a bad hyperextension injury. I almost got kicked off ice, but they deemed it okay and after a year it still hasn't quite healed. I've been able to go on full day hikes and stuff and usually it's okay if I have my trekking poles, which I plan on using all, this, all the time that I'm hiking, then I'm generally okay. But uh, yeah, nine days. That's a long time, so we'll see. But that's kind of it. I have an early night because yeah, it's it's an early morning tomorrow. Waking up at like five in the morning, getting on the shuttle, and driving to Pokhara. So that is that is that. I hope you enjoyed this first day of my ABC trek video series. And if you did, you know what to do. Make sure you go down below and hit the little like button and subscribe and uh, smash the bell icon so you get notifications when the rest of this Annapurna Base Camp Trek videos and everything else comes out. And yeah, thank you so, so much. And I will see you in the next one.